from the Mind of Critic, April 10th, 2020. If perfect is the enemy of the good, then isn't good the enemy of mediocrity? We don't have to get everything we want, but should we get at least the concept of what we want, even if the form it comes in isn't what we planned on? Do we settle for mediocre nibbles on the edges of what we want, because history has shown that token responses are used to quell people's passions by fooling us into think the government gives a shit about us? I guess the question I have left is, do we love ourselves enough that we have the capacity to spread love throughout the world? These pieces always start with a lot of questions. Maybe I'm trying to elicit a response to start conversation. Maybe I'm trying to answer them for myself, knowing that many heads on a problem is always better than one. Maybe I'm working out on paper what's going through my head, constantly trying to decipher what's good, good enough, and what's a mediocre token response, which overtly displays for all to see the elite's illusion of power, which needs to be frequently fueled by quelling passions. Whatever I'm doing with these pieces, may we all glean what we can use so we never, ever put ourselves in the position of voting for the lesser of two evils ever again. The conversations and unity that must take place for our species' survival may seem strange at first with those we don't know or don't agree with, but if we lead with humanity, we'll surprise the shit out of ourselves with what we can accomplish. Who knows? Maybe we'll beat back fear long enough that we'll get a true sense of what we need to do. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good, specifically because we're not settling for mediocre. Remember to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button. Links for all my social media, my website, and where to buy my books are in the description below. Love and gratitude will find a way. We just have to keep the conversations going. See you all soon.